Welcome to a brief overview of the John Deere S100 lawn tractor. This lawn tractor sits at the entry level of our John Deere lawn tractor lineup. The John Deere uh, S100 delivers a beautiful design that will stand up to the competition with ease. It's got really nice, um, great openings, just a nice modern look to the John Deere nameplate that kind of matches the rest of the John Deere lineup. Um, it's got a nice big wide uh, compartment right here, so I've got lots of room to spread out. And so those are some of the nicer highlighted features. Let's jump right into the engine. So this particular machine is powered by a 17 and a half horsepower, single cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine. It's got a reinforced uh, steel sheath around the outside of the cylinder to give it an extra, some extra longevity. Um, I've got the standard um, filter, so oil filter on here. Not an easy change oil system on this particular model. You do have a nice fuel filter right on the back. I've got the battery compartment right here, uh, right in back, so nice, easy access and getting to use it. I can open up this air compartment very simply. It gives me access to that nice big air cleaner right on the side. So easy maintenance on these, very simplistic in design, easy to maintain yourself, or happy to bring it into any Pape for service. You've got the nice, wonderful curved headlights up front offers you a little bit of headlight or a little bit of light at night. Um, we've got front and rear turf tires on this particular machine. Uh, the, out, the back is outfitted by a 20, with a 20 by eight by eight tire. Uh, and the front tires are that 15 by six by six pattern on there. Um, this one's outfitted with a 42 inch edge deck. So 42 inch ed de edge deck is gonna offer a wonderful cut quality uh, it's gonna have a nice, a lot of good blade speed because that 17 and a half horsepower is more than enough to push that deck. Um, it's got a nice big wide opening on the right hand side to discharge and blow out that uh, material. Can be outfitted with a rear bagging system, but standard does not have those two options. Um, I've got a nice washout port. So this part right here goes on your hose bib. You can plug that in, turn the blades on, that machine will wash itself out underneath, so that's a really nice feature. You do have greasable certs on the top of the spindles, so that's also a nice feature. To raise and lower the deck on this particular machine, I can go all the way from one inch, or about one inch, all the way up to four inches in quarter inch increments. There's a spring-assisted handle. I will share that this is a very easy to use system, not very difficult at all. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the frame. So the frame on these particular machines are a welded steel structure. Um, do a really nice job of kind of uh, holding that machine together. Um, I think when you put that in comparison to some of the other machines in this price category, uh, this one kind of stands head and shoulders above with that frame rigidity. It is certainly a lot uh, more rigid um, and, and that frame structure all the way around is a, it does a nice job. You're also gonna notice in the front, I've got uh, the caster arms that kind of delve down. They have grease points right up front, so very easy to access and easy to maintain. Of note, this particular model does not have a front bumper, but as you see when we kind of echelon up into the uh, different trim levels, those things are offered. Um, but you can always add that from our parts department. The seat, uh, very, very comfortable. It does slide back and forth. Unlike some of our competition, we do offer an adjustable seat. Um, that's got springs underneath. Also underneath, you're gonna find the fuel tank. And how I can un to judge that fuel fill level is on, on the front of it, there is a nice, big, uh, easy to read fuel gauge. Um, so jumping into the uh, actual compartment, you're gonna notice I've got some rubber foot mats right here. Uh, gives me a little bit of isolation from the vibration. Also gives me a little extra grip on my feet. Uh, on my left hand side, I've got the park brake. So the park brake has a easy to use, just push down on the park brake, push down on the park brake release lever, and that will release my park brake. So I just pull back up to set my park brake. Your fuel lever is located right here on your left hand side as well. 
Um, I can control the throttle. Uh, turtle is making it sl the engine slower. Rabbit makes it faster. And then if I push past the detent there, there is a choke option. So if I need to do some cold weather starting, I can push up and use the choke. Uh, I have the mow and reverse button. Mow and reverse button is just a simple button that I need to depress before I press uh, the backwards pedal um, while my blades are engaged so it will not kill the machine. On this particular one, it will kill the entire machine um, as a safety feature, so you need to press that button before you mow in reverse. To engage my blades, it is a mechanical engagement, so all I need to do is uh, press up on this lever, and that will push the belt into the pulley and start the blades. On the right-hand side, I've got my uh, key, my ignition system in here. So I've got, if I turn it one click up, that'll turn on my lights. If I turn it one click past there, that's just the running uh, position. And if I go even past that part, that's how I actually start and engage the ignition on this particular machine. Um, we'll do that in just a second. Um, of note, I wanted to bring this to your attention. Right up here on the dash, it does say built in Greenville, Tennessee. Um, these are American made machines. so. Uh, they want to say that proudly. It is foremost on there. Uh, nice, comfortable steering wheel. Uh, very well balanced steering on this particular machine. It does not have power assist, but it isn't that difficult to go back and forth. Uh, and especially when I'm actually driving in my lawn, it makes it a little bit easier. All right, stepping off the machine, let's go ahead and talk about things that are in the back. You're gonna notice a couple of uh, actual empty holes right here on the back. These empty holes are actually where the uh, rear bagging system kind of uh, gets put on this machine. Uh, this has a very, very, very convenient and easy to install bagging system um, that's offered for this machine. Of course, this one isn't, doesn't come standard with it. Uh, it is an additional option, um, but it's very, very easy to install yourself if that's something that you're looking at doing. Um, Right-hand side of my compartment, I've got a, uh, kind of an open bay where I might put materials. Uh, of note, there is a little space where you could put a lid on it. In some of the higher end trim levels, you actually do get that lid. Um, but if you visit the parts department, it's really easy. You can get a, uh, a, a top um, on this compartment um, so it can protect a little bit more against the elements. Um, in the back of that, you've got a cup holder. I will share that every John Deere mower does come with a cup holder. I don't sell one that does not. Um, so I'm very proud to say that. Um, and this one is no different from the rest. In the back, you're gonna see a little silver lever that I can pull out and pull, push back in. Um, that will allow me to release the hydrostatic transmission on this machine. So if I need to push it uh, forward and aft, uh, as long as my brake is not set, I can do that and that will release the hydraulic pressure on the system. Speaking of hydraulics, let's talk about the transmission in the back of this guy. This one has the TLT 200 transmission. Um, gonna be an offering in quite a few of the different S-series mowers. Um, this one's gonna give you about approximately 5.5 miles an hour of travel speed and mowing speed. Um, and it delivers that power to the ground by use of twin pedal systems. So I've got a pedal on the left, pedal on the right, Pedal on the left is the forward button, is the forward pedal. Pedal on the right is the reverse pedal. Very, very simple to use, very simple in design, and very, very convenient, uh, as opposed to some of those treadle pedals that are out there that may maybe put a little bit more strain on your foot. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of the S100 model. Um, great little offering. Definitely a nice way to start the lineup in the John Deere trim levels. Um, hopefully that helps. We'll talk to you soon. Hi, my name is Jason Hughes. I'm a territory manager out of Eugene, Oregon. I'm also a large property owner and own a lot of the equipment that you see featured in these videos. I hope you find this content helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.